Hey yeah, folks, so I got a short one for you tonight, but it should be short and good, or short and sweet as they say, um, but I just want to talk about SP hinges. Um, specifically, your SP should do this, see how it closes all the way, it doesn't, doesn't just kind of open and hang at, you know, 10 degrees, 5 degrees, whatever it is, but it just snaps closed snaps open, snaps closed. That's what it's supposed to do. Now, if your SP doesn't do that, there could be, um, could be a pretty simple issue. Now, I did grab this clear shell. Uh, let me twist these lights over so you can see a little bit better. Uh, if you can see here through the plastic, on the left-hand side, we have this little black piece, and on the right-hand side, we have this little white piece. That's because the hinges on the SP, there, there are two different hinges. There's a left hinge and a right hinge. The left hinge tends to have a uh, black piece in it, whereas the right hinge tends to have a white piece in it where these clips are. Uh, so don't, don't pay too much attention to the actual body of the, of the hinge, but the left hinge usually black, right hinge usually white. Um, so I've got a whole, whole host of hinges here, as you can see. Um, these are all left hinges, as you can see, some of them are completely black, some of them are gray and black, some of them are white and black, this one's even blue, um, that's aftermarket by the way. Uh, and then I've got these right hinges here, you can see black body with white clips, uh, white body, white clips, gray body, gray clips, uh, and then all the way, and then these over here. Um, so just double check that if you're putting an SP together. Um, but I also want to talk about the different styles of hinge. Uh, there are, for the most part, three that I've encountered. There's, of course, your OEM style, or just OEM hinges. Um, one of these guys, you can, you can usually, well, the best place to get these is straight out of your SP, but you can tell the OEM hinges apart from the aftermarket hinges, because the OEM hinges have that flap metal end cap on them that you slide these hinge covers on. Flat metal, um, it's not riveted, it's not a seat clip or anything, uh, whereas the aftermarket ones tend to have a uh, rivet in there. So, OEM, aftermarket. Now, I highly recommend using OEM hinges when you can. But I understand sometimes that's not always an option. You know, your SP has water damage or you're building it from parts or, you know, the hinges just aren't quite as snappy as they used to be. You want to get some new hinges and that's fine. There are aftermarket hinges available. Let me pop this open here. I want to grab this blue one out of here. So this blue one is a uh, is an aftermarket hinge. It looks like there's a new style of hinge getting... Uh, distributed. Um, the old ones have these plastic tabs in them, whereas these new ones have the metal tabs in them. You can see if I put them side by side how the parts that slide against each other are metal on the left one, plastic on the right left one, <laughs> the blue one here, because uh, they're both left hinges. But when you can, these metal ones are better, but there's a caveat here. If you're using these hinges with an OEM shell and by extension OEM uh, hinge covers, they don't quite fit, not without modification at least. You can see this rivet pokes up and uh, prevents that from sliding on. These hinge covers come in two different styles here. You have the aftermarket one on the left, which come with the aftermarket opaque shells, and then the OEM style one on the right, which come with your OEM shells and the new clear shells. Uh, now I've got this hinge cover from this new pink shell that I haven't done anything with yet, but soon, I promise. Um, but you see this one has that, go on, focus. You can see this one has that second chamber closed up. It's kind of hard to tell. So we'll, you'll have to take my word that this is built the same way as this one. Uh, but if you take a look at this, you can see there's this um, 
plastic piece right in the middle, whereas on this one, on the aftermarket one, it's just completely hollow. So these fit over the aftermarket hinges just fine, but these won't fit on aftermarket hinges. Now, I know what you're probably thinking, but Mako, they sell OEM hinges, uh, salvaged OEM hinges on uh, AliExpress and Taobao and eBay and a whole, whole host of other sites. And that's fine, but I don't recommend those because they are salvaged hinges. Sometimes you don't get very good ones. Um, this one was in my good hinges bag, so the only issues with this one are cosmetic, but I have gotten hinges before that are just completely seized up. You put it in the SP and then you go to close it and the hinge just, you know, shears off and ruins your shell and it's a mess. And I don't recommend salvaged OEM hinges if you can avoid them. Um, unfortunately, it's just the way it is. You, they're, they're hit and miss. Uh, sometimes you get good ones and that's fine. Sometimes you get bad ones, but that's not okay. Um, I'm going to throw a link in the description to a significantly longer version of this video where I try and explore all the different hinges that I have, including um, some OEM options, some salvaged OEM hinges, or uh, you know some aftermarket hinges, some of which that Retro Game Repair Shop had sent me, which are these ones, by the way. Um, I actually ended up buying quite a few hinges on AliExpress for that video and Retro Game Repair Shop ended up sending me the exact same ones that I had purchased, so I don't remember which ones, which in this pile, but you get the picture. Um, totally lost my train of thought there. Okay, so we went over the hinge covers, uh, how the OEM style and the transparent ones only work on OEM style hinges. If you're um, the daring type and you have a Dremel, you can go in there and carve this out. That does work, but it's really hard to grip this thing and really easy to accidentally shave out too much material. Um, but that being said, it is possible. Uh, well, I guess let's move on to actually installing the hinges here. I've got an OEM shell uh, I've got an aftermarket shell. I'm just going to take a look at the OEM shell today because I've found that the shell itself, aftermarket or OEM, doesn't really make that big of a difference as long as you're using good hinges, with one exception. Uh, every now and then you just get a really shitty aftermarket shell that just does not fit together right. Um, namely, when I did my, um, my weird... Nintendo DS macro video and I did it in the aftermarket Kyogre shell. That shell was complete garbage and I'll, I don't know, I'll, I'll, I'll throw up like a quick, quick clip from that video right here. Not to mention this doesn't even fit. Okay. This thing is just garbage. This is even worse than I thought it was. Screw it. Let's try it anyway. See how far we get. You know, as you saw, that thing is just garbage, and sometimes that just happens. Uh, in my experience, the clear shells, the new clear shells that they make, have been quite a bit better as far as fit and finish and feel goes, with uh, one exception there as well. I've noticed these things have a tendency to crack. As you can see, there's that crack in the hinge, there's that crack right there, but that one's probably my fault. Uh, but these hinge cracks are definitely not my fault. You can see this thing's cracked all the way around. I can actually separate that. Um, it's cracked over here. I, I think this one's just cracked at the hinges. I don't remember any other cracks. I've got some stress marks right there. I have no idea why. Um, I mean, I've, I, I've done plenty of mods to this thing, but nothing to warrant that. Uh, but yeah, anyway. Clear shells feel a lot better, but they tend to crack. So, as with most things, if you can, I guess try and stick with OEM. But to install the hinges, you just gotta slide your hinge cover on, and I'm using aftermarket hinge covers. We got a left hinge, black, and a right hinge, white. 
gonna slide this in. You just open it up to approximately the open spot. And you see there's these keys along the top and along the bottom here. You just gotta line that up towards the front and the back of the shell. And of course this is my first, let me do the left hinge first. Same thing for both left and right hinge. What am I doing wrong? I swear this usually goes so much smoother, but because I'm making a video, of course, there it goes. These are an absurdly tight fit. Let's grab another hinge, because that's not going in very well. And sometimes that just happens. You get really shitty hinges that don't quite fit right. So let's try another one. Could also be this shell. I have no idea what the seller did to it, and this is my first time playing with it. Um, of course, these are two different shells. I am going to be doing a video on these soon. Oh, that's better. Just clicks in like that, and oops. Just like that. And this one doesn't have any parts in it, so it's kind of hard to tell. Uh, you know, you don't quite get the right feel, but as you can see, it's, it is snapping closed like it's supposed to, so that's pretty decent. I, um, like I said, prefer OEM hinges whenever possible, but in this case, I'm using aftermarket hinges because I have, I only have aftermarket hinge covers in approximately the right color and I don't try and mix and match in case I need to use OEM hinges and all I have are aftermarket hinges or OEM hinge covers and all I have are aftermarket hinges available you know that won't that won't work like when I put together my pink SP eventually I'll need OEM hinges um, obviously that's not going to be a problem for me for a while because I have a ton but nonetheless I try and stick to my principles so that being said, there's only one more thing to talk about, and that is removing the hinges. Um, now, like I said, I did have a video, uh, much longer video on this subject that I am going to have linked in the description, uh, and that goes over removing the hinges in quite a bit more detail. Um, and I was going to go ahead and publish that, but I wasn't satisfied with the detail that I went over them. And uh, right about when I was about to publish it, another video came out from a popular YouTuber where they ended up just mashing down the clips with a screwdriver and totally destroying them, and that is not the proper way to do it. So, even though this gentleman is very good at what he does, he's not very familiar with SPs, and unfortunately he did not show the proper technique. Um, now, I have made a uh, 3D printable tool that you can get. Uh, well, if you have a 3D printer, you can get it really cheap. If not, Sorry, I don't really have a workaround for you at the moment, uh, but there is a uh, method where you can use a cheap, uh, like disposable pen. Uh, you just pop out the tube and then you can push it in there. It's just the right size. It's pretty good. I'll, I'll throw a link to that in the description as well. Uh, but with the tool, you just gotta press it in here like this, and of course these hinges are super tight, so I'm probably gonna have a hard time with this. Oh, just not, just kidding, there it goes. But the trick, the reason you wanna use this um, is because this will release the clips without damaging them. Now, once the clips are released, it's really easy to just open the shell and then poke them out with a screwdriver. 
Uh, you won't damage them this way, even though they're super tight. There we go. But there's that. See, my clips are perfectly intact, no damage, despite what that might have sounded like. I'll do this other one. That one came out much easier. And there you go, perfectly intact as well. Maybe a little bit of a scratch where I hit it with the screwdriver, but that's on the inside and that doesn't matter at all. And that's it. Um, that's all I have for the third time. Like I said, there's going to be some videos linked in the description if you want to check them out. Uh, but otherwise, I just wanted to talk about hinges. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up in the comments. I do try and read every comment, even if I don't respond to every comment. Um, otherwise, have a fantastic night. Thanks for watching.